Good morning. Let's go back to 1975 and a film called Lizomania. Now, in 1975, a film, as I say, called Lizomania was released. And it was a film about Franz Liszt, a composer alive during the 19th century, born in Hungary in what was known as the Austrian Empire in the Romantic era. Liszt was a hugely famous musician, a huge pianist. He learned piano from an early age, encouraged by his parents and lessons. Franz Liszt composed pieces and performed them while he was still quite young. When he was about 16, he moved to Paris with his mother and gave music lessons to various people throughout Paris. He would travel far and wide giving them. He ended up falling in love with one of his students, the daughter of the Minister of Commerce. He fell ill later and wanted to join the church. And he started reading a lot of contemporary literature of the Romanticism direction. He started to attain mastery of the more advanced piano techniques that were being developed by the more fanatic pianists in Paris at the time. He soon began a relationship with a countess um, and she soon left her husband for Liszt and together they had a daughter and then further children. Liszt toured Europe and a phenomena called Listomania was coined by the media of the day to denote the extreme hysterical fan behaviour of his young female audiences who would idolise over him. By then he was making enormous amounts of money, but most of his performing fees he would give away to charity and causes. In 1847 Liszt played Kiev and met the Polish princess Karolin Zusein Wittgenstein who would play an important role in, his, in the rest of his life. Now, much later, a son and a daughter, his son and one of his daughters, died in very quick succession a few years apart, and he joined a monastery, which is what he always wanted to do. Ken Russell directed the film. And really, I don't perceive much of a continuity between the film within the film that might relate to any of the events portrayed in Franz Liszt's life. To me, the film is a disconnected series of discrete scenes which rarely relate to each other at all. The film stars quite a few available pop stars of the day. Roger Daltrey plays Franz Liszt. Rick Wakeman plays a Viking robot. Ringo Starr plays the Pope. It is, of course, <laughs> ludicrous and extravagant and theatrical. It is, after all, a Ken Russell film. Listomania, 1975, an amusing film about a historical pop superstar which devolves into a confusing and boring film about halfway through. None of it makes sense and it progressively makes even less sense as it goes through. It's nonsense. Have a fantastic Friday and a safe weekend and... Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.